Okay, back in Space Engineers. Um, I wanted to work with more remote controls and I added a second one to the freighter. I'm not sure how we should set up the automation here. I'm trying to mostly go through that on my own so that I, um, I, I rarely look at videos and on of, at tutorials for this so the, i might have to do that for uh, this stuff but i want to test out first for myself so one thing i will do now is we will move the ship the ship away from the connector set it down again so that we can just work on the ship without having uh, any interference from or not interference but without having uh, to go through all the base stuff when we want to work on that and set up stuff good the I have added two remote controls to have points I can fly to so I would like to have this remote control as the don't know planet one I will just call it that way and this one will be the the mining base or something like that um, because then I can set up ways that it needs to fly to okay set this up to me because if I want to go to the mining base we will go one way we could go for the circle mode also but I would like to have it a bit more defined. So basically, if I want to, if I have to go to the mining base, I push the button to go to the mining base. If I want to go to the planet, I want to push a button and go to the planet. From wherever I are, from wherever I are, I'm not sure sure if that's if that's the right thing to say so we will set this up this is the mining one we are at the planet so the planetary base orbit that's the first thing we want to fly to and then we want to go to asteroids and maybe at asteroids we need to set up another waypoint we can add later so that is the plan the ship should if i turn this on now go and fly to the planetary base orbit right above us and then go to the asteroids that's where the the mining base is and the other one should just be set up to planetary base orbit and then go down to the to the landing pad I want to make this clear difference so I could set this one up the mining to just go to the asteroids directly but I'm not sure if it would go through the planet then or something like that or if it would have to circle around the planet like crazy so I'm doing this so straight up then to the asteroids for this i can go to the planetary base orbit so somewhere above the planet and then go down the the planets the moon and all that stuff doesn't move so i i i don't need to be too careful um maybe i need to add other waypoints later because i know that there's a straight line without anything in between from asteroids to planetary base by the way long ways out with with 120 meters per second this takes really long maybe the circle mode would be cooler to just say fly in circles but i don't know how to to get into it and then uh set it up so that basically it 
when it reaches a certain point then it stops the circle for a moment and then if so <clears throat> and i i want to be able to really go and do that from every point on the map i want this one to go later <clears throat> i might have to add more remote controls later just so that i can move it to the moon or some some somewhere else that's at least how i understand the remote control system and and all that stuff um is there a way that i could set up the remote controls maybe with different with different no so i can set up the actions i can set up the gps locations and all that stuff but i can't load in other sets of coordinates i can't set and that that would be neat that would be a neat thing to to be able to say um okay i'm i am now um yeah at the planetary base orbit i press this button and then the remote control automatically goes to the other coordinates flies there all that stuff so i could use that with one remote control i'm sure there's a script out there and people will come and say okay here's this amazing script you just need to i'm not a big fan of the scripts that's people said that for my solar panels too you could just add the and i have that i it's installed in my mods uh, i could add that to the game i'm i'm trying to not use the scripts i'm trying to use what there is with normal blocks or modded blocks so i'm okay with modded blocks i'm it's not that I don't like scripts, but again, I would tr I would like to try it without the scripts. Let us say it that way. Good. I might want to also add a camera at a point here so that I can see where I'm flying to with the. Uh, I land somewhere. Uh, camera. Uh, this is not okay. This is right. Now I can fly the ship manually if I want. There is an antenna on board. I need to bring antenna coverage to the mining base. So the mining base, I think I will need to add one or two, um, one or two satellites in between the mining base and the planet i have satellites the icarus uh, the icarus satellites here these basically uh, make antenna connection from the moon to the planet here and i need to set up f something like that for the asteroids too but you can see that the asteroids are a bit out of there and I'm not sure how good the antenna coverage to that is it could be that the moon takes over there I'm not sure and I don't know if the um, the autopilot should work without antenna coverage so that should be good but if I want to basically steer it from the planet at the mining base I might want to add a bit more antenna coverage to that still i don't know how to <laughs> uh, i don't know how to set up the the okay let me go and go to the beacon and set this to maximum range and then set it to me uh, this is the freighter one no one and I want to go into this menu. This is remote control planet. And then we want to also add remote control. This. 
and I would like to at least test the flight of that thing if it goes to the ah, I always should have blueprints of stuff like that <laughs> but come on we will just let it let it go okay take control of the freighter one then uh, use the remote control mining control get rid of that and then we set it up so that remote control mining flies it out to the asteroids and then we why can't I turn on the autopilot Can I turn it on for I can turn it on for the other thing. Do I need to switch or something like that? Man, this is not working out. Let me go and use the other remote control. No, we will if we leave it, maybe we can then just... Yes, now we can just... Okay, it flies away. This might take a while. And I don't know if it maybe just ends up <laughs> somewhere in open space without contact. But hmm, I can just let it fly in a straight line and all that stuff. So... Okay, now we will have to wait. That will be a problem. But I, in the meantime, I will go and add maybe one or two thrusters <laughs> to this ship and wait what Freighter 1 does. So I'm following the thrust, the thruster, the freighter with the rabbit. I just strapped uh, an atmospheric thruster on the back. That's why I wanted to say thruster. Um, and now it's atmospheric capable. It's it's weird. So um, the freighter seems to do what it is supposed to do. Fly to the asteroids and then hopefully it will just go stationary there. And um, then we can see how we set that up that it then goes to the station and docks that's maybe a thing i i talked about that i might need to look that up because there is precision mode but when i tested it it was not so precise at all and i need to see how this might work how i can set that up so that the freighter automatically docks to the station there. Ooh, I love that. I'm in I, I have the dampeners turned off and now I'm I'm I can circle around the freighter. That's that's absolutely nice. So Okay, why are you going away from it keep your heading okay i will follow it a bit more wait until it goes station the recording today is completely cursed i don't know no cursed it might not be the thing but uh that is the eighth telephone call i received while recording it's Bizarre, but okay, I will again. I will wait Till I get to the asteroids then uh, We will see what we can do about the remote control there Let us take the freighter and make a new GPS point somewhere close to where it needs to go so I want to have the connection on this side. You can see I took back some of the armor blocks there. 
because the connector kind of was not in a good place or the connector on the fridge is not in a good place uh, there is the cockpit in the way and so we needed to do that at least a bit okay now we bring it close to here and then we will not couple it so we will not go and make a connection right now but I want to bring it so close that it connects that would be neat okay now it connected by the way I will not be able to get away let me see that connector uh, this is so much hassle for <laughs> I should just I should just go and make it automatic so let me bring that I brought that the connection force for this connected down to yeah this amount and we will go a bit lower even maybe just don't know so it just barely catches and do that for the other one too these again I don't know if the automation here works at all I, I don't know how to do that we will we will see this will be again a week of experimentation and hopefully no more phone calls that disturb me while I'm recording come on don't hit anything here let me see how bad it is now okay ah uh, there's barely any force that's a what no 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 okay this I thought it wouldn't be enough but it was a leg spike or something like that okay let me what is up with this why it is behaving like this now something is up with it but again we will just move it into into this position and now we will do a new GPS and this will be new from current position um, where is that this one is it it is the mining connector and we will keep that for now I can maybe get rid of this get rid of this base orbit is the one on the moon and I want to keep asteroids for now because that's where I want to go now okay let me try something can we go from the asteroids point wherever it is there it is and let the ship dock to this connector don't know maybe it flies on its own there and we don't have any problems but to be sure I will go and add I will stay in the ship to just to be sure one way asteroids it goes planetary base asteroids okay that's how we want it and now mining mining connector at that and we will hopefully be able to hopefully it doesn't go the whole way no it goes back or oh yeah it goes back no 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 uh eight off and now we just go and try to don't know try to go from here 
to the base. Where is Where is it? There. Okay. We can just remove the other the other things. Can I go with precise mode? I tried that at one point. But come on. I need to save that and then set that up as somewhere on top. Collision avoidance on. Precision mode on. We did that with the same ship, so I don't know how that how that works out. If we crash into something, then that is okay. Don't speed up too much, please. Please don't speed up too much. Stay calm, stay calm, please. Don't go crazy. Okay. The autopilot is still enabled, so it might go into a place, might maneuver into place. Let me wait a few seconds. No, the autopilot turned off, so the precision mode is not what is helping here. Hmm. How can we do that? Maybe one of you has good ideas. And again, scripts. Again, I don't want to use scripts for now. Let us try and see if we can find something. Yeah, that yeah, is not based on scripts. So <laughs> it's nice of you to tell me that there is a script and all that stuff. But maybe we can find a solution without that. We could go for sensors, but the problem is how do we, yeah, how do we distinguish the big base from this big ship and how can we go to a pre precise point somewhere in space and set it up that it goes exactly there Maybe, I don't know, maybe if we, can we capture it some way automatically? I don't know. I don't know. I will do some research, but for now I think this was enough rambling and enough trying for today. I think we will keep it at this and I will... Listen to your suggestions and see what you have, what ideas you have. Good people. Uh, we, yeah, we will... Sh oh, man, I can't talk today. They, all this telephone stuff really, really didn't, didn't go well with me today. Mm, I hope to see you on Friday and then we will try out more stuff with the remote controls and all that stuff. Good people. Until Friday.